What's up, guys? There we are again. Griddle juice in hand, ready to cook for you outside. Guess we're cooking outside with the Schmidt again, huh? All right, so tonight I've been wanting to do this for a while, as you can see. I've been wanting to do it for a while. I had to build up the courage to do it and be ready to accept the failure just in case. So I got steak inside just in case. But what up? Before we start anything. You gotta season it. That's good. That's good. Alright. I'm nervous about this one. I am nervous about this one. I've thought about it. I've been prepping. I've been trying to do a lot, you know, to make sure I do it right. Um, I'm doing a, uh, what do they call it? Spatchcock, spatchcock chicken on the Blackstone. The chicken's been prepped already. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on and cook it. I mean, a couple little tricks I got going lined up. So let's get busy, right? Nervous on this cook. But we'll see what happens. So let's bring y'all in a little closer. Basically, I got my chicken here. It's already spatchcock filleted, whatnot, which is what you call it. And I'm just gonna put it on. Now with the chicken, chicken cooks kind of slow, so, but it's my brick. Helps keep it flat, helps, helps keep it cooked. We're just gonna let that sit for a few minutes. I'm trying to save as much heat. I don't have a dome big enough. I guess that won't even work. But I can try and save whatever heat I can on certain parts. But yeah. We're gonna see how this goes. So I'm gonna let, let, let that sit for, I don't know, th three minutes just to get that skin going. I used, did use avocado oil, so hopefully it won't, you know, burn too bad. Um, so we'll see what happens when I flip it. All right, so that's why I was a little nervous. If you try this, Cornish and chicken, anything like that, don't do hot, like real hot, hot heat. That's gonna burn. You gotta do it low heat. So, I got a little bit of burnt chicken on there, but I moved it, saved it, so, it's my first attempt. Yeah, see what happens from here. All right, so, learning as I go, making, you know, little mistakes here and there, it's all right, it's, it's fine. You learn, you know? You try and do crazy stuff on the Blackstone, you learn crazy stuff. So, let's flip this bad boy. Can y'all see that? Damn, it's heavy. Alright, so I definitely burnt the skin a little bit there. Um, oops. Well, the wife likes it crispy. That'll work. <laughs> I mean, it happens. I'm still gonna cook it. I bet you that little bit of burnt skin is not gonna be that big of an ordeal. Um, so I'm just gonna let her cook, let her eat, you know, and then I'm gonna eat because it's trial and error. You learn. Next one, I'll know. So. You're all able to witness my mess ups. Every cook can't go easy, you know. You learn somewhere. Y'all learning with me. I know some of you wouldn't have done this or wouldn't have done that, but this is me doing it. I'm learning. So, 
We're gonna brick it. You wanna keep it flat. Flatter the better, it's gonna cook easier. I just wish I had a bigger dome. I just don't have a bigger dome. That's gonna make it difficult. I didn't think about that. But I mean, you know, it's alright. So definitely don't do it on high heat. I got it just set on low. Cause that what I what my plan was to sear and then move it over and cook. Yeah, just do it all in low. Let it cook and do its thing. But it looks good, it smells great. I mean, the parts that aren't burnt look really good. So, I don't think I'm gonna be too mad at this. That little bit of burnt, not gonna, I don't think it's gonna be too bad. And then what I'm gonna do is I got a grate. I'm gonna go over here that I can set the chicken on to let it cook. This one is trying to get the outside done up nice. This side, I got the grate, and let it just cook. Then I think I can put it in the dome and have it okay. All right, so let's see how this load's going now. I, mean, I definitely see right here, I'm gonna be see, but that chicken is raw. So it's definitely gonna take a while to cook. Uh, but see, that looks better. I'm, I'm okay with that. So, we'll flip her back over, like that. Well, that's really not that bad. A little bit of burnt, we'll let it go. And then, I'm, oh, my dome fits the chicken. There, yes. So my dome don't fit the chicken with the brick, but it fits the chicken without the brick. So now we'll just let her cook like an oven. We'll come back and check it out in a little bit. All right, let's see how we're looking here. Oh yeah. Damn, she's falling apart on me. But she's looking good on me too. Yeah. There we go. Now, I, I feel much better now. A little bit of burnt skin. I like burnt skin. Let's shoot. As long as she done, she looks like she's cooking pretty good. I'll take it. I'll take it. Cover her back up. We'll come back in a little bit and see how she's doing. All right, so I got my chicken cooking, and, you know, I'm got my grilled juice and I, I, I had a little bit of grilled juice the other night and I was cooking out and my mind got to thinking and I was like time travel you know all right hold on hold on don't, don't laugh don't laugh not yet not yet I was thinking about time travel and I'm like is time travel actually something that can happen because that how cool would that be right so I'm thinking and plotting and I'm jotting down notes and stuff and I come up with this this idea where I think I got time travel down. It might be the girl juice talking, it might be, but I think I got it. So, what I came up with was, if I drink griddle juice, get my mind right, I can actually make myself go back in time. So, I tried it. It didn't work, but I fine-tuned a few things. I'm going to try it again. So... I'm gonna try and go back in time. Just don't laugh, but I'm gonna try it, okay? Okay. Holy cow.
that just worked. Like, I was just at the Blackstone putting the bird on. And I did the whole time warp thing. Riddle juice does some crazy things. But here I am. I travel back to show you how I did the bird. And now it's like deja vu all over again. I, I, I don't get it, but it worked. So let's continue prepping this bird <laughs> again. So I've done this already. <laughs> all right, so I tried cutting it with the scissors. This is my scissors, so I'm using the knife. Now I'm doing this with the spat spatchcock chicken. I want to save the skin because the skin is good, so I'm not letting that go. But you want to take out the it's the backbone, not the ribs, but the backbone. So I got this bad boy flipped over, taking out the center here. So, scissors is something I'm gonna to have to invest in for stuff like this a nice pair of meat scissors but I got my bone knife that I use for fishing so it'll work too <laughs> this is so weird <laughs> alright so then you take your chicken spread her open see how that's open like that when you flip it over you got the skin just flatten her out. Now what we're gonna do is this membrane right here. We'll just score that. You, you want it to be as flat as you can possibly get it. So there, look at that. See, nice and flat. Right at the rib, you know, wishbone right there. Flip it over. Nice and flat, as flat as you can get it. Now, the, the, one of the important things you want to do is dry it. So that way our oil and stuff sticks. So you want to dry this whole thing. Get everywhere. So we're going to work the oil in this. And again, we're using avocado, especially in this situation. Because we want the... Let me dry this board off. Because we want the... Um, chicken to cook but being on the blackstone you know that direct heat it's gonna want to burn so by using the avocado oil it will let us hopefully I mean it, I'm just going off of what I'm thinking could be wrong but it should let us do it without burning look at that nice and dry there's the inside, and then we got the outside. All right, so now we're gonna take us our avocado oil. Just a little bit on here. Not a whole, whole lot, but a little bit. And then just get it all worked in everywhere. Get it everywhere. We cooking this bad boy. We just want that worked in everywhere. That way our seasonings will stick, it won't burn. It's gonna be fun cook right here. Doing a chicken on a blackstone. It's not cheating, right? It's still a whole chicken. All right. Yeah. I can't find my towel. I don't know what happened to my, I had a towel on my shoulder, I don't know what happened to it, but. All right, that's fine. And then we'll flip her over. Oh. Little oil, paint on there, get nice and covered. Everywhere. Get the armpits, don't forget the armpits. These are uh, good spots too. Want the armpits covered. All right, and the seasoning I'm using tonight is a, a Jack Daniels chicken rub. And then 
uh, his new stuff I got that my boy Jeff back home told me about. And I, he got it from uh, Hungry Hussy. So I'm going to try it out too. I stuck my finger in it and tried it. Immediately went and ordered it. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. But we got a Jack Daniels chicken rub. I'm going to put some of this on here. Actually, you know what? Let's do the other side first. That's the side I want to start with. So we're going to put this on here nicely. Nice coat. It don't have to be too heavy. I mean, you can do just as simple as salt and pepper if you like. But I want to do, you know, a little more flavor. So I'm going to do some of this here, like so. Then I'm going to take... This gum powder seasoning, oh, 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 oh. this is my first time using it, but my finger has been dipped in it quite a few times now. So I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of this on here. Not a lot, just a little bit. Let's get that gum powder taste going on there. Super good. I, I recommend you guys getting this gum powder seasoning. I mean, honestly, I, I can't say that 100% because I haven't cooked with it, but just from my finger dipping on it, Delicious. Alright, a little much there, but whatever. You can never have too much seasoning. So we're just gonna shove it in. Oh, don't remember them armpits? Remember them armpits? Don't forget them armpits. Get up in there for them armpits. Oh yeah. Like a powder deodorant for the chicken. You won't sweat so bad now, being in such a high heat condition. Oh yeah. Go a little bit of the gunpowder. There we go. Look at that. Just a little bit of the gunpowder. Man. Alright, so I guess now we take it back out and put it. How's this work? Take it back out and put it on the black stone? Like, I was already there. Weird. That was the coolest thing ever. But I, I, I came out and I set it all down to put it back on, you know, put the chicken on the Blackstone. I took a drink of the griddle juice and it like put me back ahead to where I left off. Weird. Griddle juice. Cook some amazing things with griddle juice. But I'm back at it. Chicken's going. Like I feel like I missed the whole thing. Let me see how it's looking. Oh yeah. I am happy. Oh. I am happy with the way this is looking. There. So now I got it on my grate so it's not on direct heat. I got it on low. Turn these off. Because I'm not using those, so I'm going to save a little bit of gas. But, you know, it's not on sitting on the heat, but it's got the heat. I'm going to put this over it. Give them pins and kind of bend them to the way you want them to fit. And a little bit of a dome there. that and we'll just let her cook I'll clean this up over here so that's clean and that's cooking and spatchcock chicken it's coming along pretty good guys back in a few alright so I can tell you that this thing takes a while so if you're going to attempt this make sure you got plenty of gas but looking good so I'm doing some uh, temperature checks you 
Man, we got a long way to go. We got a long way to go. We're at 155. Damn. Yeah, 155, so we still got a little bit of time to go. With my chicken, I want to hit 165 at least. Um, but it smells amazing. It looks good. So just checking in on it. All right, so chicken. She's cooking real good. It's starting to get dark out now, but we gotta cook the rest. I'm, I'm at like one, almost 160. So it's getting closer, but now I wanna cook up my beans. So I got my beans, green beans, fresh green beans. Now what I'm gonna have to do though, because I need to steam these bad boys, is I'm gonna have to steal this. So what I'll do is get this back. There we go. So we're gonna let this get super nice and warm throw some water down steam them up you know man this is a long cook right here i am burning through some oil and griddle juice but that makes it all worthwhile oh yeah Let's go ahead and get some steaming up in here. Steam them bad boys. Get them steaming. We got chicken cooking, green beans going. What else can we make on this bad boy? Well, I think that'll be it for now. Ha <laughs> ha! Alright, so now we got our... Uh, green beans going. I had to put light on it. It got dark out. Oh yeah. Look at those green beans. Delicious. It's gonna be delicious. So I took some fresh green beans, cut the ends off, steamed them right there on the black stone with the lid. So now what I'm going to do is throw a little bit of garlic in here, just a little bit, a little bit of garlic, and we'll do a little more. All right. So I got that minced garlic in a jar. I love that stuff. It works phenomenally. my towel. Here it is. <laughs> Crazy, I found it. Alright, so now I'm going to do a little brown sugar. Let's do a little brown sugar on here. Alright, the so brown sugar makes a mess on your blackstone. So if you don't want to do this, you can do this in a pan too. But I give a little extra love when I clean this bad boy. And then we're going to throw on a little bit of soy sauce. Oh, this is new soy sauce. It's not opened yet. Look at that. I'm on low, but it's soy sauce. Stir it up. Just a 
little way to spice up some green beans, you know? I mean, green beans are good by themselves. Don't get me wrong. I love some green beans by themselves. But you spice them up just a little bit. And it adds a whole new flavor, you know? Obviously, because you're putting flavor on them. I'm going to throw a little bit of olive oil on there. There we go. Actually, it's canola oil, but it'll work. Now, like I said, the brown sugar will make a mess. But what the brown sugar does is when it's not sticking to the blackstone, it uh, kind of adheres to the beans. And then holds the flavor of like the sausage you eat. So I do the same thing when I do my, my beef jerky. I use a little bit of brown sugar when I add my seasoning. It helps it stick to the jerky. Adds a little bit of sweet, but it, it helps it stick to the jerky. So I got this on low. We'll just put this back over and just let that cook for a bit. And there's a easy way to make some new green beans. Let's check this chicken, shall we? See how she's looking over here. This looks phenomenal. Oh, I, I see clear juices coming out of here. Damn. It's taking a long time. It's like we're still at 154. It's probably like keep opening this lid. But it'll work. We'll, we'll let these bad boys cook. And here in a couple minutes, we're gonna have dinner. All right, so I know our beans are done. Oh, it smells so good. Woo! They hot, but they smell so good. You could probably do that with asparagus too, and it would probably taste really good. But look at them green beans. Oh, delicious! All right, now he's chicken. Get now we're getting the chicken off. All right, so this. is going to be a done chicken. So what I'm going to do, I'll let it fall apart on that one here. Put it on the cutting board. All right, let's go inside and see how this works. All right, so we got this chicken in the house. So now we're going to see how she come out. Look at that. You just cut it up in your sections. So we got two leg quarters. We got two leg quarters. Oh, I mean, it, it's just it's so juicy. Okay, focus on that. It's very, very juicy. So we'll cut her down the middle. Look at that. We got a breast over there, a breast over here. Oh, you want a little wing? Get up under the armpit here. Alright. I don't know how that cuts. We'll figure that out later. But, look at that breast. Oh. Yeah, I'm just. Oh. <laughs> Man. Okay, so I'm just going to have to say this was a success on the chicken. So, another episode started off a little rocky, but it ended up finishing really good. So, give it a whirl. Learn from my mistakes. I know I did. So, we'll try it again again. 
griddle juice. I blame it all on the griddle juice. But there's dinner. All right, guys. Have a good one. Catch you next time.